Hey, Mike with Nerd Problems Gaming here, and today's video will be covering a huge end of the year Nintendo Switch eShop sale and 10 great games worth buying, so let's get into it. Now the first game on our list is Octopath Traveler 2. And so Octopath Traveler 2 is one of my favorite turn-based RPGs on the Switch, and you'll start off the game by choosing from one of eight heroes of a specific job class. And so you'll have a variety of heroes to choose from, from things like a scholar that's on a quest for revenge after being wrongfully framed for the murder of his family. There's a young thief trying to escape a thieves guild and earn her freedom. A cleric acting as an inquisitor trying to track down a murderer within the church and much more. Now on top of having a great cast of characters, the game also has addicting combat and a really fun and engaging level up system. As I mentioned, characters will have job classes that they start as, but you can also acquire new job classes and mix and match your character's abilities as you progress through the game, really giving you the flexibility to build out the team you want to from a variety of active abilities, but also passive abilities your characters can equip as well. On top of that, your characters will have abilities they can utilize in the overworld, Things like finding additional hidden information from characters, stealing from them, bartering with them, and much more. The game also has somewhat of an open world feel to it, where you'll be able to choose from any one of the eight characters to start the game with, and then you can explore the world, recruiting new characters in any order you choose along the way. The game features a really cool 2D meets 3D art style. As I mentioned, it's one of my favorite turn-based RPGs on the Switch, and I definitely recommend it. The next game is actually a bundle of games and it's the old school RPG bundle. And so this includes three great RPGs. One of them is the original Knights of Pen and Paper game. And this is kind of a play on Dungeons and Dragons. And so you'll play as a bunch of people playing a tabletop RPG campaign. And so it's really cool, it breaks the fourth wall a lot. And so not only will you be playing this Dungeons and Dragons like campaign throughout the game, You'll also play as the characters playing the game. And so when you start off, not only will you build a team of heroes like warriors and clerics and mages, but you'll also choose the character class in the real world. So you'll choose from nerds, jocks, the pizza delivery guy, and much more. And so not only will you have your storyline progressing in the fantasy world of the game, you'll also have it progressing in the real world and you'll jump back and forth between them throughout the game. It's a ton of fun and I highly recommend it. Another great game in this bundle is Knights of Pen and Paper 2. And so this is more of an expanded game of the original, follows this same type of concept where you're playing as characters, playing a tabletop RPG campaign. The second version of the game is just more robust. There's more features, a larger world to explore, additional character classes, but it's still just as fun and still has a cool story like the original. You also get a tactical RPG, Chroma Squad. And so this is another funny game in this same type of universe, but this time around, instead of being a tabletop RPG, you're following a Power Rangers-like TV show. And so you'll be playing as these different actors, creating this Power Rangers-like show. And so you'll fight people in this Power Rangers-like universe, but also in the real world as well. And so again, it has that similar type of concept where you're powering up your characters in this Power Ranger-like world, but also upgrading and leveling up and improving different things in the real world as well. This time around though, it's more of a tactical RPG versus a turn-based RPG. All of these games are really fun and the bundle is an amazing price, so I definitely recommend it. The next game is Vernal Edge. And so Vernal Edge is a retro-inspired action platformer, Metroidvania, and you play as a young girl, Vernal, that's on a quest of revenge and is trying to track down her long lost father. And so the game is kind of a hybrid of both 2D side-scrolling action platforming and also some retro 3D graphics. And this really comes into play as you're exploring different floating islands in your airship. And this section is more of that 3D retro graphic style. And it almost has a bit of an open world feel to it as well where you're not limited to what islands you can visit. Certainly the islands will have a challenge level associated with it, and some will be more difficult than others, but you do have the freedom to explore on your own. And as you progress throughout the game, you'll unlock new powers, 
giving you the ability to access new areas. You'll be able to power up your character as you progress throughout the game as well, but another really intense, fun part of this game is the combat. It's very challenging and fast paced, but luckily the controls are incredibly responsive. And if you're looking for a new Metroidvania to check out, I would definitely recommend it. The next game is Gravity Circuit. And so Gravity Circuit is a 2D action platformer that's very reminiscent of some classic Mega Man titles. The game's a little bit different though in this sense because you're not using long ranged weapons. This time around you're using more melee combat and you'll be playing as a robot that's trying to take down an evil virus army that was long thought defeated but is now making a resurgence and trying to take over the world yet again. And so it has this stage select like feature to the game where you'll choose from different bosses and challenging platforming stages to go through and again face off against these bosses at the end of the level as well. There's also some different upgrade mechanics where you can add new passive abilities and active abilities to your character. There's different secrets you can find throughout the levels as well to further power up your character. But if you like these classic action platformers or games from the Mega Man series, I think you'll enjoy this game as well. The next game on the list is Astabros. And so Astabros is a retro inspired roguelike action adventure game. And you'll play as one of three different characters ranging from a mage to a rogue and then a knight as well. And you'll play as these three heroes as they explore this mysterious island and take on the various enemies and challenges within as they search for treasure. And so each one of these characters has a unique play style to them. One of them is more melee focused, another one is more range, another one is more of a ranger as well, but then you can unleash different animal familiars to help you along your way. And you'll be able to switch between these all throughout the game as you progress. On top of that, you have upgradable abilities, new weapons that you can find along the way. And along with that, you have a lot of different challenging levels to take on, as well as some fun bosses thrown in the mix as well. If you like retro inspired roguelike action platformers, this one's definitely worth checking out. The next game is Warm Snow. And so Warm Snow is a roguelike action game that's similar to other top-down dungeon crawlers like Hades. And so in this game, you'll play as a lone hero in more of a dark samurai fantasy setting as you try and stop monsters that have taken over the realm that were created by a mysterious warm snow. And so you'll need to face off against five clans across the land in hopes of restoring the land to its original beauty. The game consists mostly of dungeon crawling though, and so you'll take on waves and waves of enemies, as well as the occasional boss fight. And then after each level, you'll have the opportunity to upgrade your character through a mini store. You'll have several different abilities you can unlock along the way, different relics to acquire, and different fighting styles you can unleash against enemies. If you like roguelike action games, or were a fan of the game Hades, I think you'll enjoy this game as well. The next game is Spells and Secrets. And so in this game, you play as a student at a magical school, kind of similar to Hogwarts and Harry Potter, but this time around, the school has been ambushed and taken over by an evil organization, The Crown. And so it's a roguelike action game where you need to explore the school and rescue the other students and teachers and stop this evil crown organization. Along the way, you're gonna be learning different spells and abilities that will enhance your powers while trying to save the school. It does have some light puzzle elements to the game as well and different ways that you can power up your character. But if you're looking for a fun wizard-based adventure game, I think this one's worth checking out. The next game is Trigger Witch. And so Trigger Witch is a unique combination of genres that combines a twin stick shooter with a classic adventure dungeon crawling game like The Legend of Zelda. And so this time around, you're gonna play as a young witch Colette as she goes to stop the mysterious Men in Black. And so it is kind of a quirky, fun story that's a bit over the top, especially when you consider that you're playing as witches that wield machine guns, shotguns, flamethrowers, and more. And so it's a cool concept, and on top of that, you'll also have the opportunity to upgrade your different guns throughout the game. There's also some light puzzle elements as you explore through the dungeons, and you can even play the game in local co-op as well, adding another layer of fun to the game. 
If you like twin stick shooters and classic adventure games, I think this one's worth checking out as well. The next game is Asterix and Obelix Slap Them All. And so this game is an over the top arcade beat em up that features these classic comic book characters and some of the stories they're famous for. And so you can play the game either in single player or in local co-op. If you're playing in the co-op mode, you'll control one of the main characters. But if you play in single player, you'll be able to control them both at the same time. And you'll kind of swap between them in a tag team fashion. Now this game isn't anything revolutionary in the beat em up space. It is more of just an arcade brawler. So you'll have your standard attack, your jump attack. You can grapple enemies, block as well. And then each one of the characters has a few unique special abilities they can unleash and utilize their stamina bar to use these powers as you progress through the game. Outside of that though, there's not any like leveling system or unlockable abilities as you progress. So it is more of a standard arcade beat-em-up, but it is a bit long for the genre. Most arcade beat-em-ups usually only last a couple of hours once you get good at them, but this one is quite a bit longer. So if you like that classic arcade beat-em-up feel, this one could be worth checking out as well. The final game on today's list is Railbound. Now Railbound is an addicting train-based puzzle game with a really cute art style. And so throughout this game, you're gonna need to solve a lot of train-based puzzles. And so basically what that means is that you'll be given a set of train cars as well as a train engine, and you need to build tracks and maneuver these train cars in the right order and get them linked up with the train engine to solve the puzzle. And so the game starts off pretty simple where you'll be building some basic tracks to get the trains in line. But over time, there's a lot of other challenges that get added into the mix, like looping tracks, gateways, tunnels, and much more. It's a pretty simple concept, but it's amazing how addicting this game can get. And so if you like puzzle-based games and are a fan of trains, I think you'll enjoy this game as well. But overall, that wraps up this latest video on this end of year new Nintendo Switch eShop sale. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. And if you're going to pick out any of these games or you've played them before, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you'd like to help support the channel, pick out content and more, consider becoming a patron of ours over at nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Patreon. And if you like videos like this on video games, board games, and everything nerdy, check out one of our other videos here. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to get the latest updates of new nerd videos we put out and to make sure you can take advantage of these great deals and any future sale videos we put out. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you more soon.